Hello everyone, uh, Nani here. We're gonna do Island of the Turtles part three. Um, I think we left off last time where we needed to just finish up the incubator and make our way toward Enrique. So let's get going. Let me move my map. Let me move that. All right, it's so hard to get this island all in one view. You can see where he is. Here's the hut. Here's the pond. We're going to hook around the left si or right side of that pond and head up towards these trees. We're going to do that first because um, I think I wanted to find out if we could start that without having our incubator finished. The incubator down here. I need one shell or a few shells left and I have all those sitting on the beach ready to go but we're going to do this tree thing first. All right. I haven't had enough coffee this morning. All right, here's where the fishing pond is going to be. We can't get by the left of it because there's a hedge right here. So we're gonna go this way. And that's a long trip no matter what. Let's see. I'm looking at my map, sorry. I guess I should have looked at that a little more closely. Let me get this back up. So I know we have this water bucket open and I can get in here. So I might do that instead of following this whole red line up. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do that. Indecisive. I'm gonna scoot this over here so I can see it. Here's the water bucket. Which way am I going? I'm gonna go this way. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go around the front. And I don't think I can get all the way through to that second tree. Watch me run into a hedge. You can see the trees up here, these big open spots. Well, I will take the stone. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. There's a hedge right there. Oh no, it's gonna let me through. So I need to get to Enrique. So here we are, right here. Now I know I don't have that whole line, this whole black line drawn right here, but I'm pretty sure I cannot get through there. I guess since, I guess since I'm here, maybe I'll, I should just go ahead and check. That way you guys know. Actually, I can't do anything back here. Can't get behind my tree. I could see little things to chop back there, but I'm not gonna chance that. I see the hedge. I know I can't get through there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go the way I know. This is a good way. So Enrique's gonna be in the middle over there. I'm going to go to the left. Oh, hello, Ketten. Cannot get through. Oh, this kitten is crawling on me. I 
I'm going to take this because I know I have to go in here to get to this other tree. Okay, it's noisy at my house this morning. Okay, so there's the answer to that question. It will not let you start chopping the trees until after we have de decorated, finished decorating our incubator. So that was the purpose of that. So let's go back to the incubator. And messages behind me. So this will be the end of it. We need to do, get to, uh, hopefully this is the end of it. A few more, so let me get them. They're up here. some other things we can do. Hopefully that'll be the end of this. I don't remember. Let me get my file up here. Come on, girl. All right. Click through the chitter chatter. If you guys want to read that, just take your time when you're doing it. I just don't have the patience. Now, there he is. Hello. Oh, he's so cute. Um, I'm not, you're not cute enough for me to listen to the chitter chatter, Enrique, sorry. All right, let's look at the quest. Oh, it's the incubator part three. So, he's gonna be chopping. We need six of these sifter thingies, and then we're going to sift in the incubator. So he wants five stew to chop, and you have to have the tree exposed over here. And how many trees do we have? We have got six trees for him to chop, and the one we've got exposed is this one here. get him going. All right, so 20 hours or 1,200 gems, and I, I, I might do that just for this once, because I think this is part three of three and be finished with this quest. Um, oh, I hate spending that kind of gems. can't do anything without that though so I'm gonna go ahead and this hurts out hello kitten all right I don't know what you want I'm busy okay so I'm gonna immediately treat him again so now he's working wait a minute he must be working on chopping a tree that I don't have exposed so maybe I told you what I to told you is wrong from a felled tree. What tree did he chop? That is odd. I hope I didn't just waste my gems. All right, anyway, um, there's the firewood laying on the ground. We're gonna pick it up and get it into these little hut thingies. What just happened? He must have chopped a tree that is not exposed. I don't know, let me see, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I've got one sifter. I'm gonna need all six. So, if you don't do the stupid thing and use the gems that I just used right now, then you're looking at about five, or, five to six days for him chopping all of those trees down. Um, one of those better be down under there. That better not have been a waste. So I'm going to go ahead and open the rest of my trees. 
he's working on that one. So I'm going to go over to this one up here. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Okay, that's really a bummer. I don't think I can get through there, so I'm going to come in this way, I know. Let me zoom in. That kind of makes me upset. Where did this come from? I wonder if that will open that 35 there. I don't, I'm just going to try it. It did, yay. I don't know why my kitten is crying. It just wants my attention, I guess. This is open up here, and we'll need to go around that way later to get over there, but that's later. I'm just pointing that out. Okay. So there's two trees. Looking at my map. Oh! Oh my gosh, that just, I didn't even realize it. There's a tree right there. It was right there. So that's the one I used my gems for. So that one's gone. Duh. Right here. So when he's done chopping this, your wood's not going to be up here. It's going to be down here. And wood will be over here for this one. Okay. Gosh, it's been so long since I've done this. I'm kind of frazzled not knowing what I'm doing. All right, so we're going to go this way. Because we got a tree up here. And that's this way. Maybe I won't go that way. I'm going to. That's not the quick path. I'm not going to go up there. I'm going to go this way. And then hook like that. And then like that, and then like that. All right, so let's go. There's a cache with a bucket of water right here. I'm gonna go ahead and top it because I'm gonna have to at some point. Do I want to chop that? 30 plus 30, 60. I'm going to go ahead and chop it. And I'm going to collect my water. I don't want to forget that. So that got me a little farther. big rock. So I'm going to go this way since I have to go both directions. Butterflies. Let's just catch the butterflies. Don't have enough strength for that. Never mind. Tree, probably. Why is my map looking different than what I'm looking at? Well, 
Boy, that kitten is noisy. Still having cat fights. They're getting more used to her, but they're still not thrilled at this point. Um, 45 and then a 45. I'm going to have to start watching my energy. All right, there it is. Now the other one. It's going to be, wait, where's my pillar? Let me zoom out. So this tree right here is this one. So now I need to come across to that one. Okay, I have a pillar up here. You can see it right there. And I am gonna need that. I think this is the tree, and this must be the pillar. Where's my mount? Sorry, I'm looking at my map. Oh, that must be the hedge right there. I gotta watch out for this hedge. So I gotta come above it. There's the tree. So I got both these trees open. Why? How did I miss the pillar? Maybe this is it right here. All right, let me go see if that's it. Okay, so from the pillar, which is right here, I think it's shorter to go this way, oops, than it is to come around that way. Though there is a big cash back here. way and maybe get closer to that cache. Miss Indecisive this morning, not knowing where I'm going. This 
go along this wall. Oh good, I'm glad I went along the wall. I want that big crystal. So that's all the trees exposed. So 20 hours for him. Not spending all those gems to get to the next quest, but I, luckily I do have the screenshots I can show you what's coming next. Um, let me get these up here. So let me zoom out. There they are. Now we are going to have to get way along this wall. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me let me just get a different map. There it is. So these yellow circles then are the big trees. Um, we still have some pillars to open, and this is where we'll be going through the wall later. But you can see down here, this is the pool. So once the the um, sifters are done and the trees are cut then we'll get the quest to do this pool so let me bring those up for you uh, where is it number nine it's a clear space for the pool so that'll be what's coming next so let's get down there and we can just go ahead and do that um, here's the incubator can't do anything with that yet so we have this area and this is where our pool is gonna go uh, why can't I reach that little grass so I'm gonna go ahead and just clear this out and get ready for that Let's see if I can reach that grass I can't reach that grass hopefully I won't have to bucket of water right there I'm gonna have to get to at some point and actually I want to get my ponds opened so we can do that almost done So this is where my pool is going to go. All right, so I showed you quest one. What you're going to need, um, you're going to need this stuff to dig out your pool. And this stuff to build your pool. A lot. That's a lot of stone blocks. The dog's scratching at the door. And this, this stuff here to decorate your pool. So that's what's coming after your five days of tree chopping, six days, however long it's going to take, 20 hours each tree. Um, oh, I already showed you that. Um, what's this? Okay, once the, the pool is dug, I don't think I gave you these in order. Once the pool is dug, you are going to need 10 buckets of water. Um, these things take a tw also take 20 hours each one. So you can send the kid. Let me get that screenshot. Where's that kid? There's a little boy in the front building sand castles. And if you want to send him for all 10 buckets of water, you can do that. And you'll need this each time. So times 10. Or you can find seven of the buckets on the island and this is what we've been picking up along the way and I know we got this one here and we got this one back here um, I can't remember if we got both of these let me check let me just zoom out 
Alright, we got this bucket down here and did not get the ones up here, so let's get those. One of them is right up here. I didn't get either one of those, dang it. These two here. So, let's get those. Buttercup, I hear you in there, whatever you're doing. It's going to be right up in there. So I'm just going to go up this way. To me, it's a lot easier to go get these buckets of water. Where is the bucket? Let's see. Um, then wait, oh there it is, then waiting out that 20 hours for each time. Right, there's one of them. And the other one. Having trouble orienting myself here. Beach right here, straight over. Maybe I should open that pond. It help me figure out where I'm at. I'm gonna go ahead and do that because. I don't know if my mind's just not working today or what, but I'm having trouble orienting. like midway between that pond and there and it seems like a long way to go I don't feel like doing all that so I think what's confusing me is I can't see the hedge you see this hedge here I know it's there and I see a bit of one right there, which is going to be right here. small chops now because I'm starting to get paranoid about my energy. Chop this coke polo. Alright, so I got a bucket there and there's the pond. So midway between the two is going to be like right here. Okay, now I'm hearing squirrels on the roof. I'm probably way off here. I heard his yay! Alright. Okay, so we got all the ones down there. get 
this one down here, so I'm going to come get it and open this other pond up. It's right there. Here's the pond, so I'm kind of just going to come straight down between them. Oh, and there's a pillar down there too. So, oh, goodness, a hedge right there. This island is so huge, sometimes it's really hard to keep your bearings, especially since you can't zoom out completely. You're going to want to be fishing too because you will need a ton of fish. I didn't even do that. I need to do that. Oh, seriously? That's behind a 70 log? There's the pillar, and I still am going to have to chop that 40, Maybe I can get it with the 15. Get the bucket, come over here and get my pond. Um, let me fish real quick. So, when you're fishing in these ponds, um, the better lure, the better chance you have of getting a chest from it. Oh, yay. Look at me. Dang, got a badge and everything. Um, no chest, though. So, 24 hours on the fishing. Let me fish up here. Try blue again. Okay. Did not get a chest. What? All right, let me see how many buckets of water I have without trying to look at the map. Okay, there they are. I've got all seven buckets of water. So that's all I can get. So, I will have to um, send that kid out, this one. So, I'm going to need three of each, three of that, three buckets, and six towels to finish up the ten buckets of water that I'm going to need. I know I will need ten buckets. Um, this is the little guy. You cannot do anything with him yet. So... But at least I know I only have to ha wait three days because those are 20 hours each time. So, if you want to send the kid for all 10 buckets, that's what you'll need right here. And if you want to go get the seven buckets that are on the island and you just want to send him for three, then this is all you're going to need up here. All right. So, basically, let me get it to my overview map. Where is my overview map? I think we have all our pillars opened up too. That's the yellow. This one over here is not opened actually. These two are not. So we will have to get over to this beach over here at some point, but that's later. Um, and we'll have to get up here. So I guess I can do that real quick. Oh my gosh, that won't reduce anymore. It would be so helpful if that would reduce. Oh, this beach is open. So I don't have to worry about that. There are a ton of hedges back here. Oh, 
Um, I would need to go all the way around like that. I think I'm going to come down from the top because that really is the easier way to come around like this. Get this opened and then get over to those two pillars. So, and I have done this before and I think that is a really tight squeeze up here. Let me, if I recall, Okay, so the wall's up here. I'm going to kind of come this way because I know I've got a pillar down here that I'm going to have to get to. I'm going to want all those because those take forever too, like two days once you start doing those pillars. go back and look at these videos and 30 30 I think I have to go over here so I'm gonna go more this direction oh my goodness Missy I hear you back there where is that pillar it's got to be right there what the heck okay so here are the two trees Trying to orient myself, there are the two trees, and here they are, and it's right there between them. So it's got to be right here. You guys are like seeing me a hot mess today. Okay, so there it is. Now, directly across, here's the one we just found. So directly across over here, and this is the last one I think we're going to need. I've got this big hedge right there. And I do need to get over here, so I'm going to come more across the top of the hedge. Because we got to get up here. I don't think I am going to have enough energy to finish the entire island. I'm going to have to save up some energy. Oh, I don't want to chop an 80 clay. Don't want to chop a 60 bamboo either. I'm not going to be able to avoid it. You need to chop it there or over here, so I'm just going to do it here. behind there. Now I hear the dog whining because I locked him in there to keep him quiet. That didn't work. <laughs> okay. And 
another 60. I am having no luck today. Oh my gosh. Oh, I did get through there. I get that cash. Oh, they're killing me with the 60 bamboo. Seriously. If you're looking for bamboo, it's in, all in this corner. All right, there we go. All right, now. That was this one. So up here, that's where we're gonna need to get through. There's that pillar, there's that pillar. Wonder if I can just go straight up. Wish me luck that there's not a barrier there. Okay. We're about to be done here because I need to go let my dog out and make a fresh pot of coffee. That's probably why I can't keep myself together this morning is I haven't had enough coffee. Okay, so what you see is a whole lot of nothing right here. But you can see this rock looks a little different. This will be ultimately where you break through the giant wall. You can see this wall is very big along this top. But we got to finish all the junk on the first half of the island before we can have access to the back half of the island. Um, which is not quite as bad as this front half. So anyway, that's basically all the stuff you have to get opened. And now literally it is a waiting game for Enrique to get these big old ch trees chopped and once that happens okay look you, you guys saw me collect the shells here some have come back already so while you're waiting for those days just come over here collect these shells you'll need them you will you will never have enough shells And what's going to happen is at some point, this little girl down here, um, you'll be trading shells for clover. Because you'll have to be collecting this, cl this clover off these pillars. And these take two days to grow back. So in the meantime, you trade shells with her in exchange for her to go find clover for you. And everything takes forever, ever, ever on this island. So that's it for now. It's a lot of chopping and waiting at this point. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to use my diamonds to speed any of that up. So I guess I'll be back in like a week when we've got all our sifters from the guy. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. Sorry, sorry I was uh, such a hot mess today. Um, you guys have a good week. All right. Thanks. Talk to you later.